guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and focus on the Lightning UI. So you already know that the Salesforce has two different types of UI. One is called as the classic UI and the other one we have is the Lightning UI. Now we have done so many courses on Salesforce. I have courses on administration, development, platform developer one, etc. So we have done so many courses, but in all those courses, I did it on the classic UI. We were switching to the classic UI and we were doing things. Now in this particular course, the main focus would be on the lightning UI and the new features that the Salesforce has introduced in this lightning UI. Now you might be thinking that when Salesforce already has this classic UI, what was the point of introducing this another UI called Lightning? The main reason the say why the Salesforce has introduced this Lightning UI is because a lot of uh, sales and the service teams were using mobile application, the Salesforce mobile, to book appointments, to create contacts, etc., to track opportunities and all that stuff, right? So what they decided was if more of these sales and service team is using mobile, Salesforce mobile to do most of their tasks, everyday tasks, why don't we move the mobile to the desktop? That's how this Lightning UI came into existence because if you compare, the mobile look and feel is very similar to the to the Lightning UI. So that was one of the reason why they created this lightning UI because the lightning UI helps the sales and the service teams to work more productively and uh, they get things done faster so that was one of the reason the lightning UI is very very easy to use and it's very customizable so based upon what you want to see on your home page you can customize your home page you can customize your app page you can customize your record page so whatever you want to see you can do you can customize that in the lightning ui the home page is customizable the dashboards give you more columns so you can add more components to the dashboards there is a drag and drop status changes you can do and on opportunity so opportunity has a complete different look and feel so you can even just move the status of one opportunity to the other by just using drag and drop so that these are some of the advantages of the lightning ui now, what we're going to do here is we're going to first create a developer's account and uh, we are going to use that developer's account and we are going to see how to switch back between the classic UI and the lightning UI and uh, what is the difference between the look and feel of the classic UI and the lightning UI. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to go to your open any browser and go to this website called developer.salesforce.com and then click on this here called sign up. So go ahead and click here, sign up and provide your details. So here I'm going to say the Pika and then last name, email address would be info at mytutorialrack.com. So this is you have to provide a valid email address because the link to set up the password will come to this email address, company name, whatever you want to put it, and then postal code. It's a developer's account. So, so this is for your learning purpose and uh, there's no trial period. You can use it as long as you want. Now the username is the Salesforce wants the username to be in an email format. So you can see here there's an example saying name at the rate of your company.com. So you have to be in an email format. So it does not have to be a valid username. It means that email is doesn't have to be there. So I can do something like Salesforce Lightning at mytutorialrack.com. So this is let's say this is the username I have mytutorialrack.com and then there is this checkbox here you have to check it to accept the terms and condition and then hit the sign me up button now once you hit the sign me up button it might take a minute and you will get a link for in your email address the one that you have provided and you will there will be an email address which will say welcome to salesforce and it is used to verify your account and then you have to click on this verify account button so go ahead and click here it is then this is used to set up your password so here it is asking you to set up a password for this account so remember this username salesforce lightning at mytutorialrack.com this is what we are going to use 
to log into our Salesforce developers account. And now you have to set up your password. You can set up an easy password, which you remember. I usually do password one, two, three, confirm password. And then go ahead and change. So you have to make sure it has eight characters, one letter and one number. So these are the prerequisites for the password. So once you have done that, go ahead and change the password and it will by default, this is what it's going to do it by default, it will show you a lightning UI. This is how the lightning UI looks like. And now here, if you want to switch back and forth, you can switch back and forth by going to this user here. And then there is a link to switch to Salesforce classic. So once you go ahead, you can go ahead and click here switch to salesforce classic and this is the classic version now here automatically there is a link here switch to lightning classic if you do not see this link here there is another link here also switch to lightning experience so if you do not see this link you can try clicking on your username and then there is going to be a link here to switch to the lightning experience so once you click here it'll take you back to the lightning ui and you can see here this is the look and feel of the lightning ui this is all the different kinds of apps that are available in the lightning ui these are all the apps now in the classic ui the apps are on the right hand side on the drop down here so uh, in the lightning ui the apps are here we're going to go ahead and talk more about what is an app and what are objects etc in the upcoming tutorial but this you can see here the look and feel is completely different of a lightning ui and a classic ui so what i will do is i will show you one more time how to switch back and forth so here you click on your this icon here the user here and then there is a link to switch to the salesforce classic so you can click here to switch to the salesforce classic and it will take you to the classic ui and you can see the link here to go back to the lightning experience or there is the same link is available under your username and you click here and you can see here the apps that I was talking about these apps are here in the drop down so these are all the apps that are available and you want to go back to the lightning experience so now anytime if you have to log out you can just go ahead and click here to log out and then you can log in back again by going to login.salesforce.com and here you can type in your username. So if the username was Salesforce Lightning at mytutorialrack.com. So this one was the the this is what the username that we have given and then the password, whatever the password you had provided. So this is gonna be the password and then hit the login button. It'll ask you, do you want to register your mobile phone? I do not. So I will just go ahead and click here. I do not want to register my phone. Click here. And then this is the lightning UI. Now we're going to go ahead and see how to customize these home pages, how to customize your lightning, etc. lightning UI in the upcoming tutorials. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.